Hello, and we're going to try to um, make um, the subjects of an equation other than the equation itself, or the subjects of the equation that we've been given. Let's find, let's have a look at a, 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 a very common equation that we might find uh, in engineering and science. T equals 2 pi, the square root, this is normally, that's not 2 pi, that's, this is the square root of, the, um, it's not 2 pi and square root, L over G. It's a fairly common one. And what we want to do is to make G the new subject. So G is the new subject of the equation. What we need to do is to unclutter G. There's G there. We need to unclutter it, if that's a good word. Um, we need to get rid of everything that's surrounding G so we get it on its own. And to get rid of it, we must do to one side of the equation what we do to the other side of the equation. An equation is like this. There's scales. And if you add something to this side and you add the same to that side, it remains balanced. If you take something from this side and you take something from this side, it remains balanced. If you take the same thing, I'm sorry. Um, if you multiply something in this side and this side, it stays balanced. So what we want to do is to make sure the equal sign is always true throughout every step of transposition or rearranging, if you want. Now, what is the problem at the moment with... Um, I want to get G on its own. Well, what we can do, if we can divide by 2 pi. Let's divide both sides by 2 pi. Because it's multiple, this is 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So therefore, if we divide by 2 pi, we can actually get rid of it. But we've got to do it to both sides, don't forget. So what we could do is to say T over 2 pi equals the square root of L over G. So far, so good. This is good. I like it. But this is the square root of L. I still want to get at. I've got to get at this G here. So what we need to do really is to square both sides. Because if you square a square root, it stands to reason, I hope, that um, the square of a square root is going to be just the number that's there. So let's square both sides. This is 2 over 2 pi squared equals... Well, a squared, square, square root, and you end up with just the number. Now we're, we're, we're focusing in now. Here's, here's the G that we really want. We're focusing in on the G. Gradually, we're getting down to the G. The trouble is the G here is a denominator. Um, difficult to manipulate. So I think what we need to do is to multiply both sides by G. So let's, now, to do that, multiply that side by G. So we've got G times T over 2 pi squared equals L. Well, that's, that's fine, but it's not, we, we've now found out for L. Great. But what we want to find out was for G. So now we could divide both sides by T over 2 pi squared. Um, that would give us G on its own, wouldn't it? Yes, well, it would. Okay, so G equals L divided by t over 2 pi squared. Unfortunately, you can't divide by a fraction. Um, so what we need to do then is to multiply by the fraction and therefore turn... Uh, what we do is we, we invoke, if we invert this, which, which changes the ratio, we invert this and we, we can then multiply it by L. So we end up with a situation whereby G equals L times, we don't need a multiplication sign, we just have L times 2 pi over T. That's inverted that because we're now, we've now we gone from dividing to multiplying, so we turn it over, and that is squared. And that is the answer. I hope that is clear. Thank you.